I'm trying to do some canoe lofting. Um, I have the book Canoe Craft here and uh, I've decided that I want to try to build this Bob's Special. Um, it's a 15 foot canoe. I do not know what I'm doing and I want to thank Jason Eek, a guy on YouTube who showed some lofting things and kind of from there I figured this out. Um, I bought this uh, graph paper, gridded paper, at my local office supply store. It is 17 inches by 22, which is not big enough, but I very carefully pieced these together, taped them together, and uh, I've made, I think, probably a big enough outline. I started off with the uh, the biggest um, station for the canoe. And you can see here that uh, it's roughly um, 34 feet at the shear line um, with a profile, or in other words, a depth of a little over 12 inches. The plans say it's 12 and a half inches deep. Um, basically you follow this chart and you have your butt lines and then you have your half breadths. And uh, you can see that these, maybe you can see, these are marked off in two inch intervals both for the butt line and also for the water line. WL stands for water line. It's basically just a graph. You've got your water line going up, um, and then you have your butt line down here at the bottom, and then you just mark it off in two inch sections. And I like this graph paper because it's uh, bold lines are in inches, and then the rest are, are quarter inches. Now, a lot of these numbers call for eighths and even sixteenths, but it's pretty easy to get very close since the quarter inch. Uh, graph papers marked off. So basically uh, the first thing I did was to go to the shear on the table of heights and in this case it says that it's uh, 8 inches those numbers are feet, inches, and eighths. Feet, inches, and eighths. So I went on the shear line I went up 8 inches. No eighths, no feet. So you can see here, from the very bottom, the butt line, from in the center, a center line, I came up two, four, six, eight. That's the shear line. So in other words, this is upside down. The shear line would be your top of your boat, your, your gunwale, over on the edges. And what I'm doing is I'm making the middle station that I will place on this strong back that I built, which is 16 feet long, and it should go right in the middle of it, that, that center station. It also should be the largest station because it's the widest part of the boat. So I'm, I feel like I'm doing the hardest part first. <laughs> that remains to be seen. Um, these things look like a mushroom. You build the boat upside down. so. I've got about eight inches down here at the bottom. This part here is just uh, the part that I will use to attach onto the, onto the strong back and this will stand straight up. So anyway, you just go through this table and then the first thing you do is I figured out eight inches to the shear from our baseline here, up eight inches. There's your shear. The next thing you do is you go to butt two inch and I went to the right first and that's one foot eight inches and five eighths. So you come up off your two inch line uh, here and you just come all the way up here and let's see one foot eight inches is twenty inches and five eighths. You can see I've got a twenty marked up here and so then I'm five eighths and you just make a mark and you keep doing that going across your butt line two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen. I ran out of paper and had to piece another one in there. And then you go to your half breadths 
And here it shows the shear line at one foot four inches or 16 inches and seven eighths. So I went from my original shear mark here at the eight inch mark in the center line and I went out that distance over to here, which was 16 and something. 16 inches and 7 eighths. And you can see that I ran out of paper and I had to add this other piece on here. Uh, and then you, you start following those up. Now you same deal, but you're now you're on the water line marks. Well, there's nothing on the 2 or the 4. There's nothing on the 4, 6, 8. You start at the water line 10. So remember your butt line's down here. Your water line is, is going up and down. So at the 10, you just figure that out and you take the measurement and you go across and you make a mark. <clears throat> and that one was 1 foot 5 inches 3 eighths, so 17 and 3 eighths. The next one, the 12 inch line, is actually goes out further. That's 17 inches 5 eighths. The plus indicates add a 16th. So it's 17 inches 5 eighths and a 16th. And that was what, at the 12? So on the 12 line, we came straight across over here, and we mark it off here. You can see that this is going to curve, and you, you just keep making marks till you get the whole thing drawn out, and then you hope it looks right. I took uh, some finishing nails here, and I just very carefully put them in on all the marks that I had, and then I took this flexible ruler, and I also got this at the office supply store, or you could probably get it at an art supply store. It bends. I just bend it around the nails, and I made my lines. My next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an X-Acto knife, and this will be the uh, this will be the difficult part to figure out if I can do. And I'm just going to take and I'm going to cut these out of here. You can see over here that I marked off two inch grids on this plywood, but when I got to remeasure in this. I wasn't on it. These were off, and I was fearful of that. I, you know, when they are going down to sixteenths of an inch over a fifteen-foot length canoe, a sixteenth of an inch doesn't sound like much, but uh, over fifteen feet, it could be a disaster. So, um, I felt like the graph paper would give me a more accurate thing. Now, I'm going to be interested to see once I cut this out, because the line looks very similar to what I did the other day. I'm going to piece that in there and see how close I got. Um, but then I'm going to mark on the board and then we'll cut it out of the plywood and that should make my first station, which is actually the middle station. So we'll see how that goes. Um, when you do the half breaths, you have to do the exact same thing on the other side. I started on the right side, then you come back over and you do the same thing on the left side. And I went and went across the lines horizontally to make sure that they looked like they were in the same position uh, from the right side over to the left side and it, it looks like it's symmetrical which is wondrous. Alright that's it for now.